Marshall ready to drop the puck. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Silverberg's favorite way to light the lamp is launching that one-timer quickly and powerfully into the cage. His teammates will look to set up his 1T zone ability if he can just find the open ice, guys. Grabs it in his own end. Alaska's got the puck. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Flurry. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Club goes up, makes the save. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. And he takes a shot. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's the chance to set up now. And he turned that one aside. The Wilds have taken control of the puck. Through the neutral zone and along the boards. Here they come. Moves it quickly over to Makar. And now he moves it quickly to Johns. The Wild have taken over in the neutral zone. To his teammate. Oh, what a save in front. Makar is taking it from his own end. The Bears play it along the boards. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Fleury. Won the draw here in the offensive zone. Draw it right to the front. Oh, what a save! Oh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. I always call this driving the dot, not being afraid to get to the inside of the ice, but it takes a ton of courage and power to fight your way to that spot. He does it, he gets the shot off, but the goaltender has another idea and turns it aside. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still no score in this one. Thompson's won the draw. There he is from the slot. And that goes off a player. Moves it to Maroon. Poked away in the neutral zone by McCarr. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The Wild have been penalized for tripping. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. First power play opportunity of the game, and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Quick pass to Niskanen. Solid check to slow him down. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. A chance to get it out. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Across the point. With the stop. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Oh, and another save. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. And they get the puck out of harm's way. From the point, looks to make something happen. Loaded on him in the open ice. Couldn't catch up to that pass. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Here's a short pass to Hughes. Comes up with a stop. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Champions got it in the defensive end. 
Grabs the puck here in their own end. Nice job to escape the zone. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Thunderous, here we go. You knew that they were going to respond after he got clipped. They have to respond, James. It's the right thing to do. If your star player gets bone crushed or clipped, you have to find a way to answer and respond for him. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. The home side is going to gain a lot of adrenaline after that win. Frustration, physicality, and that fight says it all. Champions used by his coaches to win those face-off matchups, guys. That's his quick draw zone ability, and it's how he contributes to his team's overall possession game. Michaels won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to champion. Maroon's almost ready to get back on the ice. Gets it out of his own end. Minnesota's back to even strength as they've killed off the penalty. Denies him! Flurry's the whole that scores on the one-timer! Well, these below-the-goal line goals are so difficult to track, James. I mean, when the puck carrier's below the goal line, everyone's turned, puck focused, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer but just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. Alaska's hard work pays off as they get on the board first here tonight. Yeah, getting on the board first over halfway through the first period. And, you know, there has been much going on here in this game. It's been back and forth, but it's starting to open up with this first goal. Got to hope that there's some more offense in this one. And that pass goes off a stick. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Penalty coming up. Golodowski's lugging the puck. They got a chance to make something happen here on the delayed penalty. Extra attackers out. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Alaska's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Grabs it at his own end. And he slides it quickly to Boldy. Fires it! Gets in front of it. And some textbook body contact there. Ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. And they win the draw on their own end. And they get that puck down the ice. Quick feed to Hartman. Slurry pass! And that's stopped! Moves it quickly over to Poldy. And that's off a stick. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Niskanen's 
good at boxing out attackers, so they can't get positioned right in front of the net, guys. This helps limit chances from the top of the crease, and that's his bouncer zone ability. It's how he plays effective defense in his own end. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and he whiffs on it. Crisp's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Alaska's got possession here in their own end. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing. He James, I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Takes a shot. Levels him with the hit. Puck picked up by Maroon. Hammers the shot. Makes the save. Alaska's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And a successful clearing change attempt. Up, change up. Silverberg standing up, ready to go. And the one goal deficit stays intact as the power play fails to execute. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in. And the whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. Oh, an even better save! Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Erickson X out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We've just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Boldy's got it along the wing. Puck scooped up by Rossi. Takes the pass. Answers it with an even better save. Alaska's been very impressive to watch in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in the first. The Bears win the defensive zone faceoff. Through the neutral zone now, picking up Steve. Rocked him! Here's a chance! Flurry's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Well, that hit had to hurt, James. Let's have another look at that one. I mean, he goes down hard, and when you have a hit like that, you're feeling it all over your body. Well past the midway mark of this period. one nothing to score. Off the draw, they take possession. along the wing. Puts it in deep. McCarr stick handling in his own zone. Tosses it to Cullen. Here we go. Pucks in deep. Quick feed to Zuccarello. Oh! Yeah, they didn't like that. They're dropping the mitts. They have to drop the mitts. When you hit their star player, you know he's not going to fight. So who comes in? A physical guy who knows how to drop the gloves and win it. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting, but what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. You try to get your team going, sometimes the fight is what happens, and this is exactly it, but the winner is going to the home team. Well, it looks like the officials have got all the debris off the ice, and we're back to getting some hockey going again. Collins won the draw and they're on the attack. Moves it to McCarr. Club save. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Alaska's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net. And they'd lead here late in the first. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. And now he moves it to Dewar. There's the whistle, we've got an offside. 
Here in the late going of the frame, Alaska's up one zip. Michaels won the draw. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Champions won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Scores! Off the post and in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that pulled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. while well, you practice that play, James, you're in the offensive zone and you got to make the most of it with a key win. Everyone knows their responsibilities. They take it to the net and it's a great goal. Alaska's going to want to take this lead into the first intermission. They have really looked sharp tonight. And they win that draw center. Alaska's through center and now in the offensive end. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Takes it along the wall by Boldy. Looking to make something oh. happen in the offensive zone. Dished on over to Makar. Here's a short pass to Kaprizov. Here we go, on man rush. And that's poked away by Goligoski. Shoots it off the glove. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Alaska's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Scores at the buzzer and they pull one. The well, coaches always say the first minute and the last minute of every period are critical. Well, now they've got momentum heading into the next frame. they got to carry it forward. Got to love this goal. I mean, he's got the defender just twisted like a pretzel as he's manipulating and showing those silky mitts and then finally puts it away. Alaska's coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far, leading late in the first. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Patan got it against the boards. Sends a pass over. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Are you looking to impress at your next group of men? Alaska's going to have to finish this game down the player, James, and it's a difficult situation. And you look at the bench, there's more room on it right now. But their player was assessed in a team they can't return. Yeah, a tough loss for the team, and, and you just hope that it's not too serious an injury long term. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Oh, and a smart heads-up play with the bank pass. Fast and quick lead pass. How did he stop that one? Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Moves the puck across to Hartman. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Gustafson. Alaska's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. Gaudreau's won the draw here in their own zone. Now he takes it over the line. Quick shot! Oh, a clutch save! Oh, 
Lots of time left in this period. 4-0 is where we sit. This has been a very, very one-sided contest. And he takes the pass. Alaska's on the attack. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, and a big time hit on the play. Well, and it's another hit. I mean, how many times is that now, James? He's gonna continue to be a target if his head is down. Here he is in close. Scores. And they get one back here. Well, I guess it's something to look at positively, James. I mean, the goal scorer certainly is gonna feel happy that they've contributed, but they're gonna have to find a way to dig themselves out of this hole, and it's a large one at that. They're gonna put their work boots on and try and kick it into high gear if they even want an opportunity to claw their way back in this game. The Wild have shown us they can score, but can they do more of it? They have to do more if they want to win this game or even get back into it and feel like they can win it, James. They got to work hard, but most importantly, they got to get pucks to net. Taken here by Drew. Scores! And a little sign of life here on the ice as they try to get back into it. Yeah, a little bit of a momentum swing right here, and now they've got to layer it, which means they've got to have that next shift where they attack and have the mindset to drive the net. Let's see if it's sustainable now. Minnesota's got one back. Now can they get themselves another? They're going to be able to if they do one thing, and that is attack and drive the coverage back. And if you do that, you find ways to get shots through the net. Change up, change up. Great pass up play by the defender. On the attack along the boards. Picks up the puck. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Quick feed to Vanek. Just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Comes up with the steal. Alaska is working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, you're doing a great job of taking away passes. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Loses his balance on the play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Darlene. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And the puck dies with the trapper save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Bears have been aggressive to watch tonight. They've had a lot of shots on net, and they lead it here in the second. Minnesota's got it, and they're on the attack. Michaels gain the line and on the attack. Oh, can't get it to Cole. Well, it's a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. Middleton's held down. Penalty on the way. Let's get the call here. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Goudreau is going to have to keep his head up throughout this game. No one liked that play earlier that injured their player. The crowd is frustrated, including the bench. He'll have to be aware when that puck's on his stick. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving, and when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're gonna get the two minutes for tripping. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck, but you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Johns has two goals in the game already. James, you know that he's playing with a ton of confidence, and he can feel and taste that third. He scores! And there's the hat trick, and let those shuffles fly! Anytime you get a hat 
district, it's a special moment for a player and athlete here, James. But to do it at home and have all of those caps fly out on the ice, it's a pretty special one. Coaches love these kind of goals, James. When you have sustained offensive pressure, you're wearing your opponent down consistently, whether it's the cycle or whether you're creating motion and lanes to the net. Everything they did was right here. You can feel this one coming. They finally convert on their chances. Alaska's a joyride type of night. Everything going their way. All the offense, all the goaltending, all the defense, and we're still only in the second. Dare I say they may get the day off tomorrow. James, coach has to be so impressed with their performance so far. It's like they're playing a game of keep away out there. Lucy Kovanek just gets enough to keep it out. Alaska's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Penalty expires, and they'll go to work with a man advantage. Not much, but it's still a power play. Tries to the crease. They score! A power play goal! Well, especially teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. Anytime you're in the grade A scoring chances and you're funneled tight to the net, you want to make sure you get a quick release shot off. There's coverage there. It's all about accuracy at that point, and he doesn't miss. Alaska so no signs of slowing down here tonight, especially what they've been doing in the offensive zone. Yeah, why would you slow down when you can pad your stats? I mean, they've been all over the offensive zone. They're having a ton of fun out there, and there's been a wave right through the bench. Oh, that has some hot sauce on that hit. Pressure with the stick. The Bears cross the blue line and are on the attack. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Handles it along the blue line. Here he is with the backhander. Off the bar, I think that clipped the inside of the post. Alaska's run another one off the post, James. How many is that now? But listen, they're getting opportunities and they're really firing it towards the net. I really like their game tonight. And they'll dump it in. Boldy's got the puck through the neutral zone. Shuts him down. Duhame's back on the ice after serving the five-minute major for fighting, and he had an opportunity to rest and relax in the box, as sometimes fighting can take a lot out of you. He steps on the ice and gets a great scoring chance. His time is better served on the ice. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. That's blocked. Here's a short pass to Ernest. Oh, what a stick save. Poked away at center by Merrill. Sorry for jumping in, James, but that was a massive hit. And he gets in front of that. Here's a chance in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Race for the puck here. Icing waved off on the play. Alaska's looking to carry this sizable lead here into the second intermission. They have been the dominant club tonight. Michaels won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Picked up along the wall by Silverberg. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Slides it across to Hartman. Moves inside! And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Rossi's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And the play is whistled dead, and here's the call. Well, this is a constant parade to the penalty box, just showing a ton of frustration throughout this game. To be honest, I'm surprised the coach even put him back out there. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Minnesota's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Reaches out and uses the stick. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Grabs it with the glove. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. 
Cullen's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Bears win the draw here in their own end. He grabs the puck here at the point. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Stop that one. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Hartman's at the face-off, John, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive oh. end. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. They got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Minnesota's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. Alaska's got a hold of the puck. The Wild have taken to the offensive attack. Taken by Duhane. Here he is in front. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Dewar's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Shooters are so strong today on that cross crease pass. You've got to be able to read, anticipate that it's coming, and he does it perfectly. Nice speed of center moves up ahead now. Centering feed. And a new pass. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here's a shot. Oh, and he just misses. What an opportunity there. Well, just is a big word, James, because when you have an opportunity like this on a primetime scoring area, you have to finish it off. He doesn't even hit the net. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Minnesota's got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent has really dominated possession because of it. They've been chasing the game. they got to do something when they get the puck, and they got to be confident with it. Retrieves the puck, try to kickstart this power play. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Silverberg's penalty has expired, and he'll join the penalty kill as they remain shorthanded. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Crisp's been really sharp tonight, James. And then just have a look at his save percentage, and he's making the stops that he needs to. The man, this team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and the reason why, they have a healthy lead. And he had an answer with that save. Duhaines looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Dumps the puck in. Minnesota's got the puck. Alaska's back to even strength. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom to the top of the roster. This takes hard work, and they certainly showed why they're on that unit. The Bears looking against the half wall. Oh, but somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps them at bay. Oh, a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Kaprizov's got it in the defensive zone. Champions got the puck. Gives them nothing in front. Can't maintain possession after that hit. And that goes off a stick. Hammers a shot, and that's broken up. Minnesota's going on the attack as they gain the zone. 
Alaska's regained possession of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Johns is right in the heart of the action tonight, contributing offensively with multi-points, but finding ways to open up lanes, continue to create offensively. He's been a real leader for his team. Alaska's on total cruise control early in this third period. The Bears win that offensive zone faceoff. Quick feed to Darlene. Back to the blue line. Hammerson from the point. And he makes the save on that play. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then... You don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. Minnesota's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals. They need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender over the net. James. In fact, I never would have considered this as an option because I would have tripped over myself. But to be able to put the puck between your legs and still get a great shot off, unbelievable. The Bears continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players. And this is critical when you're in a long season. Puck grab by Bogosian. Minnesota's looking to break out. And he passes it up ahead to Goudreau. There's the collision, and Lokru's hit again. Well, he's been a punching bag tonight, James. He's going to have to find a way to get out of the way. The Bears have it against the wall. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. And it's a quick pass to Johns. Textbook poke check by Boldy. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And there's another stop. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what. The goaltender has been outstanding. Made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Receives the pass. Fires it on net. For that one, Alaska's in on the offensive attack now. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Alaska's put in a total team effort here this evening, and they lead it comfortably in the third. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Gabrick. Takes the bank feed. Moves it to Thompson. We got a penalty coming up here. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially under. It certainly is, and everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession of the penalty box for the home team. Another chance here on the man advantage. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the and the precision in particular with their puck movement. And the puck clears the zone. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action. That's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. Minnesota's got control of the puck. With possession along the wall. Centering feed! Dishes it off again here, and that's stopped. There's 
the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Champions ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Bears win the draw. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck, and they get it down the ice. Quick pass to Hartman. Oh, my goodness, it's Tina. What a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. And as play continues, this place is still present, and they're coming out here now. Wow, well, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And, man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save, and everyone around you is appreciative. Here's a short pass to Hartman. way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. The Wild have possession along the boards. Time of the essence here. Yeah, they can't skate it. They gotta move it to be able to gain entry quickly. Control has got it in the offensive zone. And that goes off the glove, and it stays out. And they get the puck out. Feeds it on over to Johansson. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. It's a two-on-one. Broken up. What a play defensively. Alaska's played arguably their most complete game of the season based on how they have delivered shots on net and lead here big time in the third. Fires it on net, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. He scores! What a little pump left for the play! Well, pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Alaska's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Picked up along the boards by Stewart. Alaska's got a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Thompson. Moving into the attacking zone. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Quick feed to Michael. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He gloved that one. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Alaska's coaches have to be pleased with what they've seen tonight. No shortage of scoring opportunities and no shortage of goals. Moves it quickly over to Middleton. Minnesota's got the puck now. Pokes it away in his own end. Moves it to McCarr. Alaska's got the puck in the defensive end. Quick pass to Silverberg. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Handles the pass. Takes the feed. Hartman's crossed the line and gained the zone. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. All smart heads on play to poke that one away. Alaska's got a hold of the puck now. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Nearing the final minute of the third. Alaska's top line is going to come on the ice, and there's no coaching decision to be made here. I mean, they've been so effective. They contributed, and they're a reason why they're in the lead. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Gustafson's helping his team with his rebound control and really keeping the puck away from the front of the net and cleaning up the trash. Takes a shot! Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate 
appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. From the left side, takes that center. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And we are all over with this one. Kind of felt like they had the puck on string here all night, Cheryl. Well, the analytics will tell you they did. They certainly held the number in possession time. Real effective at that. Sometimes it's what you do with it, though. But they proved to do the right things. Well, a fun night of hockey comes to an end. But guess what, everybody? There's always next time. And we will see you then. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for playing.